Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I know what you're thinking, he's trying to look cool with the shades. No, I've actually got an eye infection on my left eye, so gotta keep it protected. And the, uh, the old sunlight is hurting my eyes as well. But anyway, let's crack on from the, um, the eye infection. This is a, a different video guys than what I've done before. You know, um, this video is all about rejections. So minor rejections and major rejections. Yes, this is something that I've not elaborated on in my YouTube videos. It's something that I usually hold for my students in my trading community. But I'm going to touch on it today. I'm not going to go into the fine details because those fine details are what my students pay for to join the community. So it is a bit of an insight into rejections. It's something that I've been using for a long, long time. So minor rejections and major rejections. So minor rejections, we watch, you observe, we don't actually take any action. And then on these major rejections, this is when we place an entry and this is also when we liquidate a position. Okay, so very important, okay, that you understand. So important, I, I can't emphasize enough the importance of understanding these rejections, minor rejections and major rejections, okay, because they truly are a game changer. The Sambora Trading Community, we've had a fantastic year so far. So we've had three students come out and we've showcased some of our success stories. There's many more success stories. We'll try and get some more interviews done. Um, I know you guys like them types of videos. Also, we've really pushed forward now with the trading community. So in terms of moving forward, we really are pushing the boundaries with the trading community. So. Obviously for a long time I've done the commentary on the Dow Jones on the US Open and now we have one of my students, Nala, so she's actually providing live commentary on the DAX on the European Open Monday to Friday. So it's very good because you're getting an insight into two traders' mindset. Nala's um, approach is slightly different from mine. She uses some different techniques. And the overall strategy is still the same. It's fantastic to see a student come along so far, and this is what we strive to do. You know, it's not all about me. Yes, I created this community, but it's about the students. Okay, so I've had my success. I just like to be in the background now to a certain degree, and this is what it's all about. It's about having the students come forward and, you know, let them showcase the skills that they have crafted over the number of years that they've been trading. So, very exciting times, very exciting indeed. Next month, I take the Sambora Trading Community Italy. So we're off to Rome, we're off to Florence. A little bit of work, a little bit of pleasure. And we continue to strive forward, okay? So very exciting times for the Sambora Trading Community. You know, I'm, I'm having a, a whale of a time out here living in Malta. You know, life is good. You know, not only my life has changed, but the life of students as well. So it's not just me that has an enhanced lifestyle now. It's students as well, so. And that was always the um, the goal, you know, not just for me to have success and to have money and all that kind of stuff, but also for the students. Okay, so it's coming through and it's fantastic to see. Very exciting times. I'm delighted for the community, delighted for the students. So I'm still trading, I'm still training, and I'm still loving life, and life is good. Life is good. But as I said, I'm bringing people with me. It's not just me. So I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. A little bit subdued because of my eye infection. But anyway, before we crack on, make sure that you smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you want to join the Sambora trading community, you can message me at my Instagram, sambora.00. Or you can message me at my email address, eduardosambora at yahoo.com. Exciting times, exciting times for me and for my community and for the students. So, hope you guys enjoy this week's video.
Okay, so the market's been open for a considerable amount of time, but here's where it actually hit a major support level. So I've been waiting, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, so market opened at half past three my time, so it's been a considerable amount of time. Went in with two and a half thousand lots. It didn't really hit too many major, major support levels on the way down. It actually hit, before I've taken this position, it hit about four um, support levels, but it actually just, it didn't retrace, it continued to push down. There were, there were support levels that, that were breached, okay? So even though sometimes they look as though they're major support levels, you know, it can breach down through them, which is why it's important to wait. So I've went in, I've edited this video because I hold this position for a couple of hours actually. So I've had to edit it down. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful example of space, okay? So anybody in my community, you'll hear me say every single day on the live commentary, wait for that space to be created. So this SQQQ is a stock that I have been trading now since last year, since probably about November, something like that. And it just seems to return profit after profit after profit. It's always an intraday swing or a swing. I never scalp SQQQ. That's not how this instrument works. Okay, so this is, um, this is a lovely example of space. And it's a lovely example of looking at support and resistance. And also looking at minor rejections and major rejections. Okay, there's a big difference between minor rejections and major rejections. Um, it's in my course, it is in my course and it's a game changer when you understand the difference between identifying a, a, a major rejection, okay? This is the difference, it tells you when to exit and it tells you when to enter also. So obviously I'm not gonna hold this and try and get 5K out of it, that's not how it works. You know, you don't, you don't become a millionaire overnight, that's not how this works. When I see hitting a major resistance level and it continues to get rejected, that's when I'll close my position and take my profit. Okay, so this is not something you learn over a few days or a few weeks. It takes months and months and months of continuing to monitor these charts. Okay, so you can see there it's extremely bullish. You've got one candle there and it continues to be extremely bullish. Hence why I'm continuing to hold. Them rejections that you're seeing to the resistance level are only minor rejections, hence why I'm continuing to hold. As soon as I start to see some major rejections, that's when I will consider liquidating my position and getting out. Okay, so we're, that looks like a bit of a, a bit of a level there in terms of hitting resistance and it's, it is being rejected. So that's, that's shown all the signs of being a major rejection, okay? On a minor rejection, we don't take any action, we continue to monitor. On a major rejection, whether it's the support level or the resistance level, we've got to take action. Okay, we have to take action on a major rejection. On a minor rejection, we continue to monitor. Okay, so let's just see how this goes. I might have to close this if it continues to pull back. And if I see that it continuing to be rejected at the resistance level, I will liquidate this, but I'll hold it for now. You can see that it tried to push down, but it keeps pulling back. See that? Keeps pushing down, trying to back down through them support levels, but it's been rejected and it continues to go bullish. So I'll continue to monitor that and we'll see where this goes. So this is um this is not a skill that you, you pick up quickly, okay? I've been in the business now for four years. It takes a long time to be able to identify all of this. So here we are. You know, this is a great example of rejections, okay? A wonderful example. So I'm not gonna hold this much longer now. You can see that's getting rejected now. See that? Big rejection, big rejection, big rejection, big rejection. So these are all major rejections. So this is where I need to consider liquidating my position, getting out, because what's gonna happen now is, because of these major rejections, what's gonna happen is this will pull back It'll pull back, and if I wait too long, instead of making fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars, I'll end up with about six hundred dollars. So I'm monitoring just a little bit longer. Okay, so it seems to be hanging there. It seems to be trying to recover, push back up through them resistance levels, and we'll see. It is a major rejection, but it is kind of holding there. So I'll hold this a little bit longer. You can see now it's pushing back up, pushing back up, pushing back up. 
minor ejections there so I'll hold this a little bit longer because we've got these minor ejections remember it's these major ejections they're the ones that I've got to take the um, action on but I'm thinking now that I'm just gonna close this pretty soon because I am starting to push my look okay I am starting to push my look and it continues to be rejected there look so I'm just gonna take that